Hello guys, it is James back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be going over the top 10 tight ends and the top 10 free safeties um, for Madden 24 Ultimate Team. So for top 10 we have 86 Travis Kelsey in number one with 81 speed, 76 strength, 87 catching, 86 catch in traffic, 86 spec catch, 86 short route run, 83 medium route run, and 59 run block. At number two, we have 85 shocks, he's not 86. George Kittle, 83 speed, 77 strength, 87 catching, 83 catching traffic, 85 spec catch, 81 short route, 77 medium route, and 8, 75 run blocking. And we have Marky Mark, Mark Andrews, 81 speed, 77 strength, 86 catching, 85 catching traffic, 85 spec catch, 85 short route run, 82 medium route run, 63 run block. So, basically, he's got the highest, he's got the lowest. So, so far of all these, it looks like George Kittle might be the best so far. I mean, Kelsey's got better short run and catching traffic, and a bit really better, what's it called? But George Kittle's got more speed, and he's got better run block, like way better run block. Next, Dallas Goddard, 80 speed, 73 strength. 84 catch, catching, 80 catch in traffic, 82 spec catch, 83 short route, 79 medium route, and 69 run block, lol. He's definitely not worth it, just way too slow, then I guess it was Mark Andrews. I wish like there were faster tight ends, but like, I guess not. TJ Hawkinson, or as I say, TJ Hawkinson. 80 speed, 79 strength, 84 catching, 81 catch in traffic, 82 spec catch, 83 short route running, 80 medium route, and 60 run block. Darren Waller. Okay. See him? Maybe he'll have a good year with the Giants. That's what I think. 83 speed, 75 strength, 82 catching, 81 catching traffic, 82 spec catch, 82 short route, 79 medium route, and 59 run block. Personally, I do hope he is because I'm a Giants and Jets fan. I just am like, mainly a Jets fan. My dad's also a Giants fan, so that's how I'm like a Giants fan. Or, yeah, and then, anyway, Kyle Pitts. 84 speed, 65 sh uh, strength, 84 catching. Catching 80 catch of traffic, 83 spec catch, 82 short route running, 76 medium, and 57 run block. Next is Chief Queef Dej Vinanjoku. I honestly think he's going to have an 84 next man or 83. I think he's going to be good. Check these out like an 83. But I do think he can definitely be very good. And we did Njoku. 81 speed, 67 strength, 81 catch in traffic, 79 catch in traffic, or no, 81 catching, 79 catch in traffic, 82 spec catch, 82 short route, 79 medium route, and 59 run block. Then Mike Gisecki, Shane Gisecki, 78 speed, 71 strength, 82, or, uh, 82 catching, 78 catch in traffic, 82 spec catch, 80 short route, 75 medium, and 53 run block. The Gritty King has decent stats. I don't know what the hell it's... Yo, obviously, tell me right now. Is Mike Gusecki not the Gritty King? Like, he's easily the best Gritty King there is out there. Like, best Gritty of all time. No one can disagree with that. I mean, Zach Ertz. 77 speed, 72 strength, 82 catch and catching, 78 catch in traffic, 80 spec catch, 79 short route, 77 medium route, and 51 run block. Honestly, let's be honest, boys. You got freaking Darnell Washington. None of them really gonna matter. I might just pick up Darren Waller for tight end two, just cause I'm I like Darren Waller like as a player too. I mean I ain't spending a lot on a tight end, especially not like like let's be honest. The Travis Kelsey be like three fifty and George Hill's probably gonna be like three hundred, two ninety. Mark Andrews probably gonna be like two fifty, yeah, probably one ninety, two hundred. Yeah, they're gonna be a lot. Um, this Darren Waller though looks like he's gonna be maybe a budget beast. He looks like he's gonna be good, and he technically is like an 84, 85, 85 or 84 in Man 23. If it was Man 23, so honestly, number one's gotta be Travis Kelsey. He's obviously gonna be the best. Yeah, number two's gotta be George Hill. He's got really good speed, good, good, the best speed I think. For like his overall, he's got very good stats. So stats, he's definitely the best. Like I honestly actually think he might have not better stats, but in like speed, yeah, definitely better. Then I honestly say, straight up, 
I don't know if Mark Andrews is going to be that good. He looks decent. I, I'll say he's number three just because I don't like it. Then it's got to be, um, let's look, compare these two. All right, yep, it's going to be Hawkins in that. Then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Darren Waller, I think. Then Dallas Goddard doesn't have that good of stats, even though he did really good. He looks like a really good player. Uh, then we'll do Dallas Goddard after Darren Waller. Then Kyle Pitts. Actually. No, Kyle Pitts, then Dallas Goddard. EA yeah, disrespected Dallas Goddard. Then, then Chief. Then the Gritty King, and then Zach Ertz. Alright, now we're going to go to free safeties. Number one free safety, 86. Make a fit. 84 speed, 86 excel, 76 tackle, 83 press coverage, 85 pursuit, 80 man coverage, 86 zone, 82 with power. This card looks really good. This card looks really good. I don't know if he's going to be number one. I want to look at the options because height is going to be a big like role. For me, I definitely like height over speed. I'll have like a, it's going to be a 99 overall. No, it's at 6'5", or it can be like 6'8", 95 speed. I'll take it. Um, anyway, Justin Simmons next. 82 speed, 85 excel, 74 tackle, 84 press coverage, 83 pursue, 77 man, 85 zone, and 77 hit power. Next, Tyron Matthew. 82 speed, 84 excel, 76 tackling, 83 press or per, play recognition. I keep saying press coverage. Play recognition. 82 pursuit, 81 man, 83 zone, 75 hit power. I'm not going to answer any questions, say anything until we're fully done. Kevin Byers, who I don't know why he was an 88 last year. Jeez. That was so dumb. Like, he could have been an 86. I can see that. Maybe even 87. But 88, no, dude. When you have Pat Mahomes and Travis Kelsey who aren't 88, how are you going to say Kevin Byers is an 88 and Pat Mahomes is? Like, come on now. Anyway, 83 speed, 82 excel, 81 tackle, 82 player recognition, 82 pursuit, 73 man, 83 zone, and 69 hit power. LOL. Quandre Diggs, 82 speed, 83 excel, 78 tackle, 81 player recognition, 78 pursuit, 77 man, 83 zone, and 78 hit power. Well rounded, yes, he's better. Easily gonna be Quandre Diggs over Justin. Or Kevin Byer. He's well, better well rounded. Also, that hit power is super low, don't like that. And the man coverage is better on Quandre Diggs. And I run man, so I'm definitely picking up Quandre Diggs. Micah Hyde, 82 speed, 82 excel, 81 tackle, 82 player recognition, 79. Pursue 79 man coverage, 84 hit power, or 84 zone coverage, 61 hit power. Jesse, by the way, I don't like the hit power. It's really low on almost everyone. I think the highest on Minka, right now Minka is just the best for that reason. Um, Jesse Bates, 82 speed, 83 excel, 78 tackle, 83 player recognition, 87 pursuits, 84 man, 69 man, 84 zone, not man, not 84 zone, not 84 man, and 69 Man coverage and 73 hit power. His man coverage is way too low. No way. Marcus Williams. 81 speed, 83 excel, 71 tackle, 80 player recognition, 79 pursuit, 80 man, 82 zone, and 69 hit power. Bad hit power, but better man. I like that. Anton, Antonio, Antoine, whatever, Winfield Jr. 82 speed, 84 excel, 73 tackle, 79 play recognition, 79 pursuit, 70 man, 83 zone, 76 hit power. And last one, Jimmy Ward. 81 speed, 81 excel, 81 tackle, 80 play recognition, 81 pursuit, 82 man, 84 zone, 81 hit power. Jesus. I'm going to be honest right now. Jimmy Ward is better than him. 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 Maybe not him. He's so well rounded. Straight up, his lowest stats in eighty. His lowest stats in seventy. His lowest stats in sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely not better, and neither is him than him. Yeah, he's slower, but he's got way worse tackling. He's got a higher player recognition, two higher pursuit, and not way better hit power, but definitely better hit power. Way better hit power on him. So, Jimmy. Okay, let's rank this. So number one. Obvious, it's always, it's almost always gonna be the best, just they're the best. It's gonna be Minka Fitz, then Justin Simmons, then Conj Diggs, then Tyran. Honestly. 
Wait, why do I want to put Jimmy War? Nah. I don't think Micah Hyde's better than him. I don't think Kevin Byard's better than him. So Kevin Byard is better. Alright, we'll see Kevin Byard next. Then, well, do I do, did I do, hold on, let me read this. I don't know if I did quantity. Did. M Minka, Dustin Simmons, Tyron Matthew, Quandre Diggs, Kevin Byer, um, gosh, I don't even care, Jimmy Ward, uh, Micah Hyde, Jesse Bates, Marcus Williams, Antoine Longfield, actually switch it, Antoine Longfield, then Marcus Williams, because he's faster, that's my ranking. That's yeah, so gonna be my rankings for today, boys. There is no way. Hold up. Straight up, I need to check something right now. So that kid put um that Montez Sweat is the fastest squirrely is whack yeah. Defensive end. No freaking way, right? <laughs> what, dude? There's actually no way. Montez Sweat is the fastest quarterly. Fucking defensive end. It's faster than a running back. Jesus Christ. What, dude? Nah, you know what? No, he deserves it. If he's actually faster than a running back, nah, dog. I don't believe that. There's no way, right? Yeah, it's gotta be a running. Yeah, by the way, let's just be honest. That's disrespectful. Like, what is that? 81 speed? Damn, boy. There's no freaking way, dude. Yo! He's. F well, he's not gonna be faster anymore because when receivers come out. Yeah, I'm good. Um, Don Stanton's gonna be pretty good, honestly. I'd recommend to make it. Personally, I'm excited to see is that Darren Waller is good or not because I'm pretty excited for that. Um, all right, guys, um, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.